Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Peterson Pit Stop Series. My name is Patrick and today we have one of the very first electric hypercars, the 2015 Rimats Concept 1. Rimats Automobili was founded in 2011 by the now legendary Mate Rimats. And believe it or not, they did not start building these beautiful vehicles. It all started with the humble e-bike. But the technology was so stable, it was so advanced, they decided, hey, let's take a dive in this supercar hypercar landscape, shall we? And then in 2015 at the Frankfurt Motor Show, the Concept One made its debut. The Concept One, when it came out in 2015, was the first ever full electric hypercar, not a single ICE motor in this vehicle. Something the world had not seen before. It also had hypercar numbers to back up this claim. It's got just south of 1100 horsepower, just north of 1100 pound-feet of torque, a top speed of 220 miles an hour, a zero to 60 time of two and a half seconds, and it can do all of that with around 200 miles of range. The battery itself is a 90 kilowatt hour battery with four electric motors attached to it that give this car all wheel drive. The battery is also claimed to be able to recharge to 80% in just under 30 minutes from the CEO Mate Rimats. Besides the impressive figures that this car boasts, it's also rather beautiful. Very low slung body, aggressive lines, sharp edges, not to mention its super futuristic interior. Fully customizable digital dash, billet aluminum pieces, and beautiful, good smelling leather. This vehicle, not only is it known for its looks and its speed and all those other great things, it's also known for its safety. Because this vehicle runs on those four electric motors we talked about, torque vectoring is very easy to the computer. You can adjust how much power goes to each wheel in the corner so you're safe. Not to mention it's got regenerative braking that is adjustable from the two paddle shifters located on the steering wheel. But a more aggressive regenerative braking, there you go. You want an easier one if you're just cruising, very easy to take care of as well. Despite this vehicle's insane popularity garnered on the internet and the crazy hype built around it, they only made around eight units of this vehicle, each one retailing for around a million US dollars. There's now less than eight vehicles considering the famous Richard Hammond crash in Switzerland on the Grand Tour TV show. Thank God he's okay, but the car is no longer with us. Due to the success of the Rimac Concept 1, many other of the OEMs wanted in on this incredible technology that has been proven to work. Those companies include Porsche, Bugatti, Hyundai, and even Aston Martin. They all wanted a piece of that dependable, powerful Rimac's technology. Not only is it used for their new hybrids and or full electric hypercars that we have not heard about coming out, they also want to use it in their everyday applications, mainly with the Hyundai part of that. Because of this proven success of the full electric hypercar that the Rimats Concept 1 brought to the world, many other manufacturers have come out of the woodworks trying to make the next great all-electric hypercar. Thank you so much for watching another episode of the Peterson Pit Stop. My name has been Patrick. If there's any other vehicles in our collection you'd like us to shoot, let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy the rest of your day.